down through the gates, watch the night suffocate all the light as it smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your humorous air. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're the yin to my yang, can't you see? And if I were to leave, you would crumble and grief. Face it, bats, you'd be lost without me. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. You're gonna find how do you do. I was just going through uh, the current edition of the uh, Overstreet Price Guide, and I'm reading these articles um, with interest that are submitted by so-called Overstreet advisors. Mainly these people are dealers with a vested interest, and uh, one in particular, I'm not going to mention his name right now because I, wanted, I want to do a vlog and uh, talk about this in another video. But uh, just as an example, all this guy wants to do is increase the prices. That's his advice to Overstreet. Increase the prices across the board, especially comic books that he, in particular, has a vested interest in. For instance, the first appearance of the Enchantress in, uh, what was it, uh, Strange Adventures 187. Uh, he is suggesting a price increase of eighteen hundred percent because that's what it's selling for above guide in graded condition. The guide price is around ninety five, so he wants to see it increase eighteen hundred percent. Let's see another example here. Joker comics, number two. Now I have several Joker comics. They're not. That doesn't have anything to do with uh, uh, the Batman Joker. This is a uh, like a teen comic, similar to Archie. And uh, Joker number two. He is suggesting a price increase in all the grades of that book by two hundred percent. Why? Well probably because he has several copies and because it's a major sleeper and a major key issue. Why? Because it has the first appearance of Tessie the Typist. Now, how can this individual justify something like that? I mean, he's going to say, well, they're selling for... Uh, Graded issues are selling for much higher than Overstreet, so everything should be raised across the board. And that's his argument. But what does it do to the fans, collectors that are trying to complete their collection or to get that one key issue and they're dreaming of uh, having a whole set of books one day and it's forever getting out of their reach because of assholes like him. And I'm sorry to be swearing, but it really got me angry. But I'll talk about that more in another vlog or something. But for right now, uh, oh, before I forget, uh, in the last video, anybody that left a comment on the last video, I'm doing a drawing. It's going to be for uh, the 100 page exclusives, Walmart exclusive. This is Swamp Thing Halloween Horror number one. Now, most of the stories in here are reprints and really nice beautiful uh, reprint uh, material from various different uh, Halloween themed comics but it also has every issue also has a new story in it so here's a reprint from the, uh, the demon 
Beautiful art, beautiful colors and artwork. The uh, artwork in here, um, I mean the colors in here are by Rod Reyes. I already mentioned him uh, last video. Rod, Rod is short for Rodrigo. Rodrigo Reyes. He does the colors and man, he's just, I think right now he's doing currently something for uh, Image. I said that in the last video too, but I, I'm still not sure. But at any rate, just beautiful colors. And uh, he's from Brazil, which means he's Portuguese, not Hispanic. Um, but a great news story, Swamp Thing news story. So also what I'm going to be uh, giving away is the, uh, the poster here to the, the back cover, the Green Lantern back cover. It's got a, it's, this is actually a promotional poster and I have a copy of that promotional poster. I showed it in the last video. I'll show it to you again here. Ain't that a beauty? And it doesn't have the barcode on it. <laughs> so, I only have one of these. I was trying to get two so I can keep one. But uh, I couldn't get it. But anyway, I'm not that big of a fan on Green Lantern. I figured I'll give it with the issue of the Swamp Thing. So, all you got to do is leave a comment on the last video that I did. And you'll go into the raffle drum. And I'll do that drawing in uh, the next video that I that I upload. Not this one, but the next one from here. Um, now, to get to the meaning of all of this, I want to do this unboxing of what I just got in. The Joker's Daughter. DC Bombshells. <laughs> You know, she made her first appearance of Joker's daughter in, um, um, oh hell, uh, oh, Batman Family. Batman Family number six. And she had a, a minor appearance on that cover. Of, uh, Batman 6 and then her second appearance was ba uh, not Batman 6 Batman Family number 6 and her second appearance was in Batman Family number 9 and I have, have this here but if you try to follow her history and who she was you know Duella Den Harvey Dent's two, you know, two faces daughter, and then she has all these different incarnations. I mean, her history is so convoluted, and I'm, I, you would lose your mind trying to figure it all out. It is really unbelievable. It's mind numbing, is what it is. Let's see if I can. Oh, oh, I've got to be so careful. I better, uh, Cut it some more. Okay. Oh. Let me get this puppy out of here. This is a resin. A resin statue. Got some nice weight to it. I hope there's nothing broke on it. Look at all the delicacies. Oh, oh. Let me see if this will uh, show up a little bit better here in the red background.
nicely detailed. She's crazier than a crap house rat. You think Harley's nuts? Whew. Let me, uh, here it comes with a nice heavy duty base. I'm wondering when they're gonna start putting uh, lights on these bases. I mean, I can add them myself, but a little spotlight on the base, you know, that'd be a cool idea for them to come with it, but you could do it on your own. Okay. Let me see here. So I got that. It also comes with uh, identification plate. And I think it's magnetized, so it just... You can just... Yep. Look at that. Nicely magnetized. She's also got a staff. Comes with uh, very nice. Everything's nicely detailed here. Nicely painted. And of course. This is a beauty. Delicate though. Delicate, I say. You gotta handle it with care. But, uh, I'm gonna put it in there. This, of course, is the uh, Joker's mask. The Joker's face. Absolutely freaking beautiful. I am very happy to have this. I can honestly say that. I am very happy to have this. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, her history is so damn convoluted, it's unbelievable. I couldn't even keep up with it all. I had to, you know, uh, Turn out some stuff so that I can remember it all. I mean, it's just impossible. She's been an in infinite different characters, an in infinite crisis, pre-crisis, post-crisis, countdown to the new 52, the Teen Titans, the Tangent comic. She had a different version. Titans Tomorrow, a different version. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, she was a member of the Suicide Squad. I know that, and she was also a member of the Teen. Titans and a member of a, something else I can't recall but her first appearance I have it right here was in uh, the Batman family number six as Duala Dent there she is right there Let me see if I can't put this down a little bit better. Yeah. You can see her right here. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Paperwork over there.
And uh, like I said, this is her first appearance in a minor appearance on the cover. And then uh, her second appearance, Batman Family. From 1977, the Batman family number nine. Let me take it out of the uh, mylar here. Boy, I don't, I don't get why I'm always having a problem, you know, focusing with this damn camera. This is just a real nice copy I got here. So at any rate, uh, you can still get these online. They're not that... Sorry. They're not that terribly expensive. Unless you want graded copies, and of course they're going to be, you know, costing a lot more, but I think you can get them for around 20 bucks or something like that. Get them before they start shooting up in the prices, before idiots like the one I was telling you about want to advise Overstreet to increase his prices all the way across the frickin' board. Unbelievable. Stuff a cup of nice tea. Or should I say tay? Well, there you have it, folks. This is just a quick video. Joker's daughter. Or is it the Scarecrow's daughter? Or the Riddler's daughter? I mean, for goodness sakes. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. different versions of here and all these different titles. And there's more. But uh, I kind of like her current version. Oh. Came off already. I said, I wonder if if there's a way to secure this a little bit better, but I don't think so. But anyway. I think I paid around a hundred bucks for this, which is about, uh, yeah, what did I pay? Yeah, a hundred dollars. And, uh, tax, you know, I picked it up at the, I ordered it from the comic shop, and I get special deals over there because I buy so much stuff, so it just was a hundred dollars straight price. Nicely painted. Sculpted. Who? Um. Lord of mercy. Oh, it was designed by Jim Fletcher. And uh, sculpted by Tim Miller. 
Okay, folks, here we go. So, uh, yeah, make sure to check out my last video and leave a comment on there, and then I'll put you into the, the raffle drum. Qualify you for a chance to win Swamp Thing number one Walmart exclusives. 100 page giant. And of course, the Green Lantern wall poster. It's a promo poster, but promo poster. Nice. Alright, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hope to see you all next time. Until then, live long and be well.